Rose and David Cunningham are Vice Presidents of IMG Models and oversee scouting and development for IMG Worldwide. And they've come to Ireland for the first time. There are girls here. There Everywhere. are girls here. They found 12 Irish girls with the potential to take the fashion world by storm. One of them will win an IMG contract and walk in shows in Paris and New York and grace the cover of a best-selling magazine. Last week, the girls attended Fashion Boot Camp and completed a catwalk challenge. The girl that's going to go on to the next stage is Justine. After which, two girls were eliminated. No one's a bit upset because Heather went out. This week, the remaining 10 girls head to London, one of the fashion capitals of the world. They will master the photo shoot and attend their first casting with a leading style director. We're asking a lot. It's like their first job interview, basically. To stay in the competition, the girls will have to work hard and learn fast to impress Jenny and David. At the end of the week, two more girls will be eliminated. This week, the girls are off to London. It's 5.30 a.m. and the girls check in for their flight. All are students at school or college, so jetting off to London to meet the scouts is quite a change to their normal routines. I know I can't believe I'm going to London. I have no idea what's going to happen. Literally, not a clue. I don't know what to expect at all, really. I'm kind of feeling nervous and excited about everything, but I say it's more so excitement I am feeling, because it's just an experience that you'll never forget. I don't, I don't know what is next in the next stage, but judging by last week, it would say it would be brilliant. One of the girls, Ellen, has another reason to smile. So happy I got my braces off. <laughs> I'm really excited now. It's really good timing as well. I'm just more, a little bit more confident now, and um, I feel a bit more like I belong in it now. <laughs> Just weeks ago, these girls only dreamed of modelling. Now they're in London hoping to win an IMG contract. It's a blur. I just, like, last week I was sitting in maths class and now I'm in London. Like, am I dreaming this? Is this a reality or what? It's still kind of a whirlwind. I don't really know how to describe it. It doesn't really feel like reality still, which is kind of weird. We've grown even closer now than before. We're like, our like, true personalities are starting to come out and stuff, and it's great to see. This is a great journey I think we're all progressing on, and you can, I think you can definitely notice little changes. Um, I, I can see them in myself happening day to day, so I'm sure it's happening for the other girls as well. London is home to a vibrant fashion industry, and any new model that makes an impression here will be catapulted to success in other European cities. IMG's London office is the first stop in the girls' itinerary. Whoever wins the contract will be managed from here. Jenny and David have flown in from Paris and New York to welcome them to the office for the first time. Hi, girls! Come on in, come have a seat. This week, the scouts want to teach the girls about the casting process. This is when models are sent to meet industry professionals who are looking to book models for jobs. The girls will need to present the right image and a portfolio to showcase their look. At the end of the week, there will be a casting challenge. This entire um, trip is going to be about casting. So that starts with getting dressed, looking your best, what for when you walk in, working on your style. The girls have a busy schedule this week, but it gives them opportunities to stand out and impress the scouts. Because not everyone can survive London. Then unfortunately this week we have to eliminate two more girls. Don't be con too concerned with the elimination process. Be concerned more with the process of becoming a model. Right. That's the most important. Before a model can go to a casting, she must have a portfolio or book. This book contains photographs that convey her range and appeal. In modeling terms, it's the equivalent of a CV. New models must fill their books with test shots until they can be replaced with commercial photos. More than 150 models are managed by the agents at the London office. Along with handling the established girls, Kirsty also helps develop the new talent. We would teach them everything from how to dress for a casting, um, to do their hair, their makeup, what to take to their appointments. We would teach them to walk, 
we would chaperone them on shoots if they weren't comfortable until they were ready and they were confident. So really we manage them every step of the way until they have grown into being a professional model and can go out there and, and sell themselves. And when we went to the IMG offices, we were looking at the wall and I seen like Giselle, Heidi Klum, Gemma Ward, I was just like, whoa. Just seeing them on the wall and looking through the portfolios and it was just so unbelievable. One of you love Jessica Stam, don't you? So she's here. Yeah, Misha, there she is. Lily, yeah. The cards that stood out to me were Jessica Stam and Gemma, Gemma Ward. They're kind of my favourite models, own oh, Lily Donaldson as well. And Giselle, of course, she's amazing. <laughs> Would you love to be up there one day? Yeah. <laughs> the determination to get up on that wall is pretty fierce right now. I know that all the girls want it, probably just as much as I do, but I don't know, I just, at the moment, I think I could do pretty much anything to get up on that wall. Oh, no. oh wow, look who it is. The IMG office is always busy with models dropping in to meet with their agents. Today, Adina's in town for castings. She was once a new girl too. What's your name? Three years ago, Jenny signed her up in the Paris office. How tall are you? I am 176. I was 19 when I started, so I was a little bit older than some of these girls. But still, even if you are 19, it's, it's a difficult, different life. It's a, not the school life, but after a while I started to really enjoy it. I think it was a great decision and I, I never regretted it. So, Adina, do you want to give the girls some tips? Really casual. You don't have to wear high heels all day. You just need for the castings high heels. Like you change before, you go to see the client. Here, just in case, if I, yeah, if I have to go for a casting, you don't wear makeup at all. Like just very natural things, like foundation, I have one. Can you see it? <laughs> Not really. No, no, you just cover. Adina, she was absolutely gorgeous looking like she was 22 and she looked about 18, probably not even like she, like her skin was magnificent. Oh my God. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>